Hey, what's up guys? Cloud of Truth here, back with another Battlefield 3 Close Quarters Weapon Review. And today I'm going to be covering the M417 Sniper Rifle. And oh my goodness, I'm actually sniping? Yes, I know, I'm just... I'm a horrible sniper, first of all. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I am a god-awful sniper. I couldn't hit the broadside of a freaking barn. And yeah, so some of these shots are going to be like way off. That's just me sucking at sniping. I'm just... I just can't do it. I just can't sit still and shoot. So, anyways. Um... Before getting into the review, I believe this is probably going to be the last video you'll see for a little bit of the old Battlefield 3 maps. You may see a few in the future if I do uh, if I do some more reviews of other weapons. Because I've, un I've unlocked all but the last sniper rifle as far as the new weapons go. I've got them all used. I've tried them all out at least once. And so I'll be doing reviews of those weapons. Because I think this is... I don't know if this might be the last first level. Yeah, I think this is the last first uh, stage weapon unlocks that, uh, that you can get. So... But yeah, hopefully I'll be uploading close quarters uh, actual maps footage like Zeba Tower, uh, Scrap Metal, Donia Fortress, maps like that here pretty soon. Got some good games on them yesterday and a few this morning, so I'll be doing that very shortly. But uh, oh, right here real quick, you're probably going to be noticing what's something weird going on. Yeah, I was actually lagging right here. You can just watch the minimap and then everything jumps back into place and I was lagging. So, all right, let's go ahead and talk about the M417, which is just... <sighs> This gun is good. I mean, that's that's really all. I'm, really, really, what you need to say. I mean, as I'm like stuttering over myself, this gun is good. It was absolutely really, really good for a sniper rifle. It's probably just first impressions go. It's probably my favorite semi-auto sniper. And you may be thinking M417. What about the M416, which is the assault rifle? This is considered to be like the big brother of the M416. Is the M417? It's just basically the longer-barreled version of it, and it, it's a fantastic sniper rifle. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, "Well, isn't this a lot like the SKS?" It is. It's very similar to the SKS. However, I don't enjoy the SKS sniper rifle. I don't like it. I, really, every aspect about the SKS I hate. I just don't enjoy it. And this weapon is so far seems to be very similar to it, and yet I love it. I don't know why. I just I just don't. It seems to me that the damage output on this gun is higher than the SKS. I don't know if that's true. It feels like it. I can get one-shot headshots. I mean, 30, 40-something meters away, easily getting one-shot headshots. Also, the bullet drop on this gun seems to be pretty long. I mean, this, this will stay on target for a long range. It seems to have very long bullet drop. Like, it doesn't start very quickly. It, it takes a good distance before the bullet actually begins to decline. So that's another positive I found about this gun. Now, maybe that's not true. That's something that I'm just kind of thinking that it has and it really doesn't. But uh, that's just really what I found out. And get the USS frag rounds. That's so like two months ago, buddy. Enough with that stuff. But I have put the ACOG scope on here. And it's... Yeah, you can kind of go either way. Iron sights are, you know, put a scope on. Iron sights are good on this weapon. They're a lot like the F2000 or MK11 mod or Mark 11. And some of you guys, for some reason, get paranoid whenever I say MK. It doesn't make a difference. You can say it however you want to. But the iron sights are pretty good. I actually probably prefer them over the ACOG scope. I just was running around with the ACOG just trying to get unlocks for it and see how it would do. What was annoying was this team here on Canals was uh, sniping, or not Canals, this is Carg Island, um, was sniping on top of the main center building, so I had to get out the sniper rifle and actually take them out. But, I mean, look at this thing's accuracy. This thing is accurate, and it drops guys so fast. It's just incredible. Here you go right here. One shot headshot right to the dome piece. I mean, look at that right in the friggin' helmet, and the guy just drops down. I mean, it, this this weapon's really good. And if I ever have to snipe, this is the sniper rifle I'm going to use if it needs to be semi-auto. I do like to use the M40. That's probably my main bolt-action sniper rifle. And once again, I mean, just these shots are incredible with this gun. Their guys drop so fast. And honestly, I'm really, really enjoying this weapon. One big thing you need to be careful with in close quarters is don't spam that trigger too fast. If you just sit there and click, 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 click as fast as you can because there's a guy charging you, I mean, you're just going to go haywire with your shots. They're going to go all over the place. You're not going to kill him. And there's some situations here. I shoot like 16 shots at a guy before I get a kill, probably just because I was suppressing him so much he couldn't hit me. But uh, it's coming up a little bit later, Yawn. You'll see it. And I, I mean, it's just I just spam the trigger as fast as I could. And you'll see that the, you, you can't get hits. Sl make sure if you're going to spam your trigger, make it control. Don't just spam, 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 spam. You know, you can hit it. Just do do a little bit slower than as fast as you can pull the trigger. Like, probably right about there is good. That's how fast you want to spam the trigger as I kill that guy. You don't want to spam it much faster than that because then you're just... It's just... Recoil is going to go haywire and everything. And so it just really makes the weapon inaccurate. But overall, the M417, fantastic semi-auto sniper rifle. Two big things that I really enjoy about this weapon is the large magazine size. Holds 20 rounds. I mean, that's, that's an SKS size. And also... Look at that beautiful reload speed. 
That's fast. If you want to be an aggressive sniper, this weapon seems to deal out a ton of damage. You can slap that laser sight on here. I think it's the 20 kill unlocks the laser sight. So you can slap that on there and just run around and hit fire if you want. Now, it doesn't do fantastic at hit firing. I mean, you can do okay with hit firing with that laser. But if you want to, you can. And this weapon reloads very, very quickly, which is a definite plus. I mean, really for any gun, whether it be a sniper rifle, assault rifle, um, carbine, anything like that. But I believe here's coming up the... Situation, yeah, here's this guy parachuting in. I just start to spam that trigger, just start pressing as fast as I can. And I mean, it's just kind of going everywhere. And I've just get a lucky headshot there at the end. But uh, this weapon seems to deal a high damage once again. So if you really are one of those guys who really likes the high damage weapons as opposed to something that does a little bit more lower damage, but maybe I don't know, feels more comfortable to you, give the M417 a shot. It is definitely a unique uh, sniper rifle. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.